Okay, this is an in intermediate update, uh, June the 27th, and it's about uh, 10.30 a.m. Um, really, things have changed over the last uh, hour. Um, the Storm Prediction Center uh, updated their uh, uh, convective outlook uh, with respect to tornadoes, and we now are in the yellow area for tornadoes, which is uh, a 10% uh, chance and that actually is extremely high for Northern Virginia. I, I honestly can't think of any time I've seen it that high since I've been doing uh, uh, the um, community weather. Um, th this uh, really gives me concern and it's uh, something that everyone should take seriously. Uh, you definitely need to be um, weather aware this afternoon. need to have um, access to uh, a weather app that will uh, do quick uh, alerts for uh, if there is a tornado watch or a warning put in place. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see one uh, this afternoon, at least a watch. Uh, this is the latest NAM uh, run. Actually, it's not even completed yet. And uh, fortunately, these tools allow me to see uh, some of the hours before the, the uh, uh, run is done. Uh, this is, uh, let me see, currently I have this set for 1800 uh, Zulu, which is 2 p.m. And if you look right here, uh, the D.C. area, there's actually uh, just south of D.C., there is in fact a red area, which is much elevated uh, for uh, supercells. Uh, and this is the uh, high resolution uh, NAM. Uh, I'm going to switch this to the regular NAM uh, because we can see some other things with that. And we're going to change the sector to northeast. And we're going to change it to convective product and significant tornadoes. Okay, we're going to advance this up to about, uh, about 2 p.m. Um, uh, today. Make sure that's right. Yep, 2 p.m. And if you notice that we are, as far as significant tornadoes, we're definitely in the green area. And if we advance this a few more hours, I don't know if you can really see it on your screen, but just south of here, it's getting into um, a uh, yellow area, which definitely shows a elevated uh, risk of tornadoes today. Um, I'm going to switch this to this product. This is the high resolution a NAM um, set for, let me make sure I get the time right. This is uh, 4 p.m. today. Uh, if you look at this, uh, you will see that along the, DC is right here, Alexander is here. There's a line be, uh, setting up here. Uh, it, it has a number of cells that are fairly significant. And if, let's switch to the regular NAM. I, regular NAM is set for uh, 2 p.m. here. Uh, make sure that's right. Yep, 2 p.m. DC and Alexander is here. We have a, a big line setting up to the uh, northwest uh, of us. And uh, again, that's suggesting a, a, a squall line possibly developing uh, around that time. And let's do one more. This is the high resolution rapid refresh, uh, refresh model. And this one is set to five or 4 p.m. Uh, again, DC is here, Alexander is here, and you see a line of storms setting up just to our west. Um, today, uh, the situation is that these storms can spin up very quickly. Um, they, some of them could go tornadic. Uh, quickly, and uh, it's. I'm not going to be able to give much uh, notice. If I can give you 30 minutes notice, that'll be good today. So definitely, you need to uh, in this afternoon. You need to stay inside in a strong structure. Be prepared to uh, seek shelter in a basement or interior room if if the weather service issues a a, a tornado warning. Uh, it, this is probably the most serious uh, I've seen uh, for quite a while in this area, and you definitely need to take this seriously. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up now. I'll do more uh, video updates or tweets uh, as uh, it, more information comes out. Thanks. Bye-bye.